Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers, and in this episode of Anatomy of the Mattress, we are going to dissect the Tempur-Pedic Cloud Elite. So, Tempur-Pedic, if you haven't heard of Tempur-Pedic, then you've either been living under a rock or you're probably from another country, because Tempur-Pedic, they are probably one of the most well-known mattress brands out there, and they're fairly a young brand too, they've only been around for less than 30 years and they've done a great job. They're probably one of the biggest innovators over the last 30 years when it comes to mattresses. These guys are the originators of memory foam. Um, and if you guys remember back in the day, they were, you know, the, the NASA beds and they had the, um, the wine glass test. So these guys have done a great job at building a strong brand and bringing great awareness to memory foam. And now you can find memory foam everywhere now, but these guys are the ones that started it all. And so one thing that um, they've done, they've done a lot of changes in the last few years. Um, they've, a big, they've been making a big push at making their mattresses sleep cooler because if any of you have tried an older Tempur-Pedic mattress, even a current one, you know, I mean, memory foam overall, it is the biggest complaint that we see is that they do sleep hot. They tend to sleep warm. If you're a hot sleeper, you're gonna probably get hot on a, on a memory foam type mattress. And one of the big pushes now is trying to get these mattresses to sleep cooler. And the Cloud Elite was one of their first, one of the earlier um, attempts on making a sleep cooler. And it's, it wasn't a bad mattress. It was a very popular mattress. This is probably one of their more popular ones. Um, and a queen size, this one retailed for about 3,200 bucks, 3,299 I think. And then in a king size, this retail, if I remember, around four grand, $39.99 is what I believe, what I've seen it um, retail for. And this was, this model is about, I wanna say about four years old. So I think it was, came out in like 2016, 2017. It was really popular. But, um, so I really can't tell you so much about the comfort of the mattress. And by the way, when you see mattress reviews talking about comfort of the mattress, take those as a grain of salt you know what might be comfortable for one person is not gonna be comfortable for the next what might be firm someone might consider firm for one person might not be consider firm for the next you know it's like me judging and rating these these jeans you know they're a little bit snug a little bit tight but it is nothing you know tells you nothing because you might have different preferences different body types so you never see us judge the comfort of the mattress on these videos. We're just going to um, go in and dissect the inside of the mattress so you can see what's inside. So that's a little side note, you know, mattress reviews, for the most part, take them as a grain of salt when it comes to comfort. You know, it's most of them, they're marketers and they are, they get paid to do those reviews. But um, this is all about just so you can see what's inside these mattresses and get a little bit of education while you're at it. So, so one thing I do like about these mattresses is they have that zippered cover. I'm a big fan of zippered cover. A lot of our mattresses in our showroom have zippered covers because it gives you a lot of flexibility on changing them. This one, you really can't change the layers, but you can take off the cover if you needed to wash it. You know, they do recommend washing it if you can, if you need to. Um, mostly spot cleaning it is from what I've read on the um, on the tag. So I wouldn't throw this in a wash just because you don't know how it's gonna fit on the way when you bring it out. But some people have said they did and it's, there's no issue with it. So it is a really nice zipper. This has a really nice heavy weight stretch in it. There's a lot of good stretch to this, which is good. For, for a memory foam mattress, you don't want a lot of quilt layers or quilting um, in it, but you do want a nice stretch in it. And for for memory foam, this is a good stretch knit cover because it flows with you. If it's a really tight cover that's quilted and it's memory foam, it's not gonna move as well with you. So quilting is great on mattresses, but when you want it with memory foam and when, there's, when it's too thick of a layer or too thick of a cover, you're not gonna get much of that advantage of memory foam. So this is the good, nice um, stretch knit cover. And so on the inside, once I open it up, it has another cover too, another stretchy material on the outside. So this one is going to be, I'm not sure exactly what type of this is, some kind of, like a, it feels like a spandex type material. Let me see, let me get my knife. Where is my blade? <coughs> okay. So, but, 
they ended up buying this from another company and they've had it for a few years and just like what we see most of the time they just they're just not comfortable with it anymore you know they've spent good money on it they got three to four years of life out of it and then it just no longer as as comfortable or as firm as they want it so they end up getting rid of it so these are all customer return mattresses that we do so here we go open this up so let me get down on this side to cut under the, the zipper so okay so from the I'm starting from the outside top down this time so this is gonna be that um, super stretchy nice um, stretch knit material which they say has some face change material properties I believe but it doesn't really feel that cool so and then you have this um, stretching material on the outside and then this is the FR this material is for the fire retardant every mattress is supposed to pass the fire test and some companies use chemicals some companies use like a sock this is like a um, I believe it's like a viscose type sock which is a decent fire fire retardant around it and then so on the top layer you have let me get my tape measure where is my tape measure at so we have a good almost two, about two and a half inches of this temper material they'll call it temper material you'll never hear them say memory foam because they're trying to differentiate themselves from just regular generic memory foam but you can tell this is a very this is a much softer memory foam these are the two memory foam layers this is the soft cloud um, uh, memory foam on the top and then right underneath that is going to be a denser firmer memory foam so they're both going to be about this two inches and two and a half inches thick for the pressure points and the top layers are always meant for the pressure relief and comfort. You're gonna get most of the comfort from the top layers. The bottom layers is where most is where you want most of the back support to come from. You know, so now you have this firmer. This is just gonna be a poly foam, a, like a very firm poly foam on the top, and a very firm poly foam on the bottom. Now, what I do not like, I am not a fan. Now, I'm not trying to bash on Tempur-Pedic and a lot of companies end up doing this. This is really has been really popular in the mattress industry. But you see how the, this type of foam is. It's kind of like an A-crate. You guys probably know it as an like A-crate type foam. This is called convoluted foam. Now, I am not a fan of convoluted foam. Convoluted foam, from what I've seen in the past, and just in my opinion, it's more have been been made more for marketing you know because you know you'll see companies um, tout it as very good pressure relieving because how these little peak and valleys are good for pressure relief and then also they'll say it's good for airflow because you get airflow passing through and then also with convoluted foam you can get your you can add height to the mattress so this is about three inches of convoluted foam but in reality it's about um, as much foam as a solid one and a half inch mattress, but you can get an extra uh, inch and a half of height on the mattress by making it convoluted and saving money. And it's just a fancy cut on this foam. And what, the reason why I don't like convoluted foam is because it tends to break down faster. It, you, it does tend to compress quicker where you get more body impressions. Convoluted foam, from our experience, does not last as long as as um, solid foam that's not cut. This is just a fancy cut, and both layers are convoluted foam. And you'll see this very common with a lot of mattresses. You'll see a mattress that say is 10 inches, but they'll have two convoluted foam layers like this. But if you turn those around, it's gonna they're gonna fit right inside each other, and they will you'll lose that profile. But people buy with their eyes and you see it usually you see people you know gravitating to a thicker profile mattress and our minds when we see a thicker mattress we assume it's a better mattress 
and you can spend more money on a mattress that you perceive as better because it's thicker. But the reality is, this is going to break down faster. So that's why I'm not a fan of convoluted foam because they just don't hold up. They're more, it's more of a marketing ploy in my opinion than actually making the mattress better. This mattress would be a lot better mattress in my opinion if you just take off the convoluted and just make it better, just solid foam inside it. And it would hold up longer. So that's, um, that's my two cents on this one. Overall, I mean, it's a comfortable mattress for the most part, for, for a lot of people. Like I said, I'm not going to judge the comfort, but from what I see, a lot of people do like the comfort, you know, and it is on the softer side, um, but but that's, again, neither here nor there because, again, this might be too firm for some people. So, so this is the Cloud Elite. Um, this one, again, it's about four, three to four years old. And it retails about $3,200 for a queen and about $39.99 for a king size. And yeah, I hope this helped you guys. If um, you guys have any other questions, just leave them in the comments. Or if you guys are just starting your mattress shopping journey, um, go to our website or download the mattress shopping guide. We have a little guide there that gives you some tips and shows you mistakes not to make with mattress shopping. And if you try to cloud elite or, or memory foam type mattress we have our lucadia and our cardiff series in our showroom which i would say has a very similar feel to this um one plus side there's no convoluted foam but also the ones that we have in our showroom they are two-sided so you have comfort layers on two sides to it rather than just one so you can flip them so they last longer and they're about half the price too so if you're in that memory foam or tempurpedic type mattress um, preference and then i'll say try our lucadia or our cardiff mattress those are very good very comfortable mattresses for a lot of people who like that soft memory foam feel but you have to try them out that's the best best thing to do or you can take um, the risk and buy it through our website so hope this helped you guys thanks for watching